Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, what you got for me? All right, Jonas, we got to talk today about Twitch streamers. Oh. All right. Hot tub streams? I know. A lot of you at home are like, uh, you know, Dynamite, we don't care about Twitch streamers. We don't we don't go on Twitch, you know. But uh, What's that? We don't? No, I'm saying to the people. Oh, they I don't. don't. And, uh, but a lot of you got children, you know, and they might go on Twitch. A lot of kids idolize these Twitch streamers. Twitch streamers are becoming more popular than actors nowadays, you know, than musicians nowadays. Kai are said, they really? A hundred percent. TikTokers are popping when, off. When Kanye West decides that he needs to have Kai Sinat at his daughter's birthday party, yeah. When Kai Sinat is being flown out by Drake and all these other because they want the clout. When the when the rappers are coming, when the rappers and the artists and the and the influencers are coming to the, the the Twitch streamers, yeah, there's it's a different model out there nowadays, man. Okay. So young people have found a different way to make money. But on the same note, we got some bad actors. So have you ever heard the name Doctor Disrespect, Jonas? You know I heard of it because didn't he get in trouble a while back for something? So, uh, yeah, he did. He got banned from Twitch back in, I think it was, it was seven years ago. Is that how long ago? Yeah, it was seven years ago. He got banned from Twitch. But it was kind of like a mutual agreement. Uh, neither side committed to any wrong, admitted to any wrongdoing. And he basically just started streaming on YouTube. Okay. Hold- mm-hmm. Like, what? Does he have a shtick? Like, his which stick, is like, why is he popular? So he's kind of like, uh, he's kind of like comedy insult, uh, the streamer. He insults the chat. He, he talks ish in his games. You know, he, uh, he's just generally disrespectful, but he's pretty good at so some not games. not a clever name. No, he's, he, the, he takes the disrespect to it, but he has like the glasses and the wig. It's kind of like a, a, I don't, it's not a mullet, but it's kind of like oh, a nice Oh, so he's rock. like, uh, what was that guy from Borderlands 2? Oh, bro, that you, with the guy, the, ma- the guy who had like the uh, Macho Man rip off, and he went to like he was the DLC guy. He's like, come on down, to burr, 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 burr. yeah, he's just like that okay, guy, okay. basically. Um, but everybody wondered why would Twitch get rid of one of their top streamers at the time? He was averaging like thirty thousand people in his stream every time he was on. He had peaks of over sixty four thousand people watching him at an at a single time. So. It just seemed kind of odd, but there come out a couple of, uh, oh my a couple, God, he looks like a giant D. Yeah. A couple of, I just Googled him. A couple of, uh, ex employees at Twitch had done an interview and they said is that what happened is that he was in the Twitch whispers program, which is like where you can just like have like a one-on-one conversation with somebody in the chat or another chat member or the streamer themselves. And he was sending sexual messages to a minor. Oh, my God. But we had no proof of that. It was all hearsay. And he even said is that no crime was committed by him. Well, Jonas, it turns out is that another ex-employee came out because these NDAs are drying up. And he decided to say once again, yes, this happened. Now, this guy, Scott, uh, I want to say Scotty Beam. That's not his name. but it's, this Scotty doc- Beam? Yeah, I can't remember. It's, it's Dave Beam or something like that. I don't know. Dr. Disrespect. Oh, oh, his real name. Yeah, his real name. Either way, he had a company that he was affiliated with that was uh, uh, doing, like, v- game development. And they came out with a statement that said, it has come to our attention that there have been some accusations against one of our members and it is with good conscience that we necess- we essentially we have to distance ourselves from that individual. So the company that he founded that was named after him, boom, they dropped him. Oh, they Steve Jobs them. They dropped him. So he was still streaming at this time on uh, on uh, you- YouTube. Right. He decided to go on break, but people are like, "There's a lot of people talking." You got to say something, you know, you have to say, so you can't staying quiet makes you look crazy. 
Right, unless you're guilty, then you make yourself look even worse. So I'm going to read this off to you, Jonas, and I want you to interject, all right? Oh, my God. Like, while you're reading it or at the end? This is, well, you can interject. Uh, let me get, like, I don't know, the first paragraph out, and we can we can. Oh, it's a, it's a statement, statement. It's a statement. Okay, let's go. So this is from Dr. Disrespect himself. Hello, I'd like to make it a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. Oh, As wow. you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that that I can be uh, I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. Okay. So like that now, now interject. Yeah. So uh, that's. Oh, so he said, I'm sorry. I'm going to own up. <laughs> <laughs> but he hit you with the attitude, the doctor's disrespect character. Arr, yeah, yeah. Don't F with me. I won't F with you. But I'm going to be real with y'all. Yeah. First and foremost, I want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studios. That's the game studio. Oh, okay. He's so he's like, oh, I just got y'all fired. Yeah. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society. That's just, this is when he got dropped from the studio. And we made a painful decision collectively to have have me step down. Our team is full is full of incredibly talented and good people and yada yada. They're going to handle it. All right. So the game company handled. Okay. So he's like, hey, man, like we stepped down. Uh, game company's going to keep going. And that was the best for business. Yeah. Oh, look at that guy. That's nice. Yeah. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusation, I can tell you my side of the story. Oh, so they broke NDA regarding somebody the ban. else did. Supposedly. Um, I think the NDAs ran out, I think is what happened. It's been, like I said, it's been, it's been a while. I mean, seven years of statutes, so... All right, so... SOL, oh, God. So we're getting into the meat and potatoes here. Oh, my God. Were there Twitch Whispers messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Oh, God. Do I even need to go any further? We will, but do I need to at this point? Because at, at, after this, it just sounds like Chris Hansen called him on the catch of Predator. But we, we'll go into oh it. Oh, my God. Hold on. Bro. How, so he, he how nasty it. does it get? I don't want to get real nasty. It doesn't get that. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think? Did I F the mic? No, it's nothing like, that. nothing like that. Nothing like that. All right. Uh, were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Chris Hansen. Oh, I, didn't, I, I wasn't really going to do it. So I, you, I only brought a pack of condoms <laughs> and, a, and some beer because I thought it'd be funny. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes uh, leaned too much in, in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through the lengthy at arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear. It was not a criminal case against me. No criminal charges have ever been charged against me but he did make the messages so now it's to the point of is is he going to release the messages well that is that's a wild thing to admit y yeah you, a, you know okay hold yeah. on hold on yeah. hold on yeah. let, me, let me just let me just say something so like if you're like a pretty famous personality, right? Like, like him. Yeah. And, and say you're, you're just chatting with a woman, right? Like it's a fan. They're chatting. Things start turning sexual. You don't know any different what age they are, whatever. At the first hint you get that they aren't over 18 years of old, mm -hmm. eight years old block. Yeah. Like, it's like, you're like, holy shit. I was, that's not block. Yeah. And that's it. Done. Yeah. yeah. Like I can, I can be like, oh, maybe he didn't know, but at some point he knew. And when he knew and didn't stop, that's the problem. Yeah. Like, yeah. And you know what Jonas is crazy is like, uh, I always used to watch the catcher predator. I'd be like, all right. So these guys contacted a, a minor, you know, and they drove out here to do it. I'm like, that's kind of weird. And I could see them getting jail time. If you've ever seen or listened to, like, there's people who actually, like, read off the chat logs between the uh, the decoy and the uh, the perpetrator. 
So you can hear like all of their chat logs. Oh, Fam, like these guys deserve to go to jail. Oh, like from ca to catch a press. Oh, they read like because they get caught. And then they're like, "You said this," because it's yeah. talking to an undercover cop. But they'll read like the entire chat log of so who I'm he thinks as a minor. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got and it. like, and like you can you can hear like from the meeting of them like, "Hey, how old are you?" You know, and all of that stuff. Oh, I'm 14. No, you're not. Yeah, whatever, muff. Look. These people deserve to go to jail. I'm not necessarily saying is that this guy because I don't know. They, we they don't know what they're doing on To Catch a Predator. Like they they identify yeah. that they're a minor and then they proceed. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. Um, so they are guilty. Now I don't know how deep he was into the guilt because we have not seen his chat logs. So will the chat logs be released? We don't know necessarily, but to admit to it is it just, must be pretty bad. It's crazy. So there's been a lot of his quote unquote friends or co or I don't know like co what do you call collaborators them? collaborators that have been what? like yeah we, we can't work with them anymore in lieu of this there's been another accusation that came out from a trans uh a trans <laughs> female who says that she would send him images and uh and you know he promised to shout her out on the, on his channel and help boost her numbers oh, help boost her numbers up yeah but yeah man it's just like it's yeah. like you know i think we've all like just chatted with someone you're like oh i got a little inappropriate but like yeah like once you know they're not of age done so i i guess the reason that i i really wanted to bring this story up is because even though you might not watch twitch your kids might be on it just you know look look after that check up on them you know if you got kids if you don't you know, check up on yourself. Hey, and look, and if you out there, you 18 and you want to F a Twitch streamer, getting them whispers. Right. He, he, <coughs> here's them. my thing. Get my whispers. And this is, and this guy right here Yo. is a prime example of why any grown man who affiliates himself with children is looked down as a creepy dude. Yeah. Like some people just like kids and want to enjoy kids. Yeah. But then there's guys like this who want to enjoy kids, but yeah. in the inappropriate way. Yeah. And you're like, There's that's a, why, like, you ever see a grown man playing with kids at the park or whatever, you're like, that dude's a weirdo. You know what I mean? Because of guys like this. But you see seven grown women doing it. Oh, Nothing. Oh, you know, you know, it's so messed up, man. Look, I can't do that. I can't do that. Can't because do what? It's, not, it's not guys' fault that there are bad guys. You know? Like there's But that's what catches the bat. I mean, that's if there there's murderers out there, but we can't be afraid of men. I'm not going to, this is not a men thing. This is not a man thing. This is an effed up person thing. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I just don't like it. Like, because if a guy wants to dedicate his life to children, I think he should have the ability yeah, to do that. Yeah, but people automatically think he's weird. I mean, yeah. And that's, and, and that's I, my point. Not that it that, should be that. It's that people do. Yeah, people do. But I, I don't know, man. That's effed up too. I, I, you ain't wrong. So, <laughs> all right. That's uh, the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecreatestown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.